What's up guys, welcome back to a new lesson and today I've got a really cool exercise that's going to set your wrists on fire. Seriously, this pattern I'm going to show you is so brutal. It was honestly setting my wrists on fire, which can only be a good thing, right? I was concentrating so hard on getting the actual pattern down for the recording that I actually forgot to put the camera in focus, so I'm very sorry for that. Hopefully it's still usable and you can actually see what's going on, but it's a wee bit out of focus. So yeah, I, I apologise for that. So what we're playing is just two bars of music and it's all just semi quavers. So the actual hand pattern is just four right hands, four left hands, three right hands, three left hands and then two right hands. And that means for the second bar we can change over to our left hand lead and just do the same pattern but just do the opposite sticking. When you're playing on these examples make sure you've got a left foot just playing the quarter note the whole time. Here's how that pattern sounds. So that's a great exercise by itself and that's going to build up your stick and finger control that's going to allow you to play fast singles and doubles. So the next thing we're doing is we're just adding a flam onto the first note of every time we change hands. So we're going flam right 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 flam left 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 flam right right flam left left flam right. If you keep practicing this, your endurance is going to go through the roof. And since you're practicing both the right hand and left hand equally, your right hand speed and left hand speed and finger control is going to be equal. And like I always say on this channel, training both your hands equally is so important to getting a good drum sound. So let's speed that up to about 130 BPM. This took me a long time to get. I've been playing it all day and honestly my hands are shaking. And you'll probably see me shake my hands in some of these takes because it was starting to get a bit, a bit much for me. <laughs> And that is our pattern there. If you want to take it further, what we can do is add a bass drum with those flams and it starts to sound like a cool military thing. So finally what we can do is we can split the two hands up and put the right hand over to the right cymbal and keep the left hand in the snare and keep that bass drum and left foot going to the quarter note and you got yourself a really interesting sound and rhythm that might be cool for a kind of funk or a Latin or jazz context. Okay, that just about wraps up the lesson, I hope you enjoyed. Now if you can get this up to about 120, 130 BPM, you are a beast. Seriously, I was doing it at 130 and it was taking me so long to actually get it down and I'm still not happy with the results, but we're gonna keep doing it and we're gonna learn together. <laughs> but yeah, until next time, happy drumming. See you later.